Hi, brothers and sisters. So my camera shut off. But what I was going to say was that Jesus is coming so soon, you guys. The rapture is about to happen. The tribulation is about to start. Um, the Lord told me audibly in a dream, um, behold, I come quickly. And I mean, within, let's see, like a month, I was getting these audibles. Um, the tribulation is about to begin. Um, I saw uh, a man backhand a woman onto her back. And I saw a military tank, and then I saw a flag like at a like at the a state capitol or, or the White House. There was no American flag left on the flagpole. America had fallen. It is the start of the tribulation. Well, I don't know if it's the exact start, but maybe it starts before that. I don't know. But America is going to fall. And in the meantime, while I was receiving all these things from the Lord, um, he was teaching me about grace. He was teaching me how we are saved and sealed for all eternity, which is through his Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. Once you believe upon him and, and you've heard the gospel and you have that faith in Jesus Christ, you're saved and you're sealed. And you have to hear the true gospel, which is uh, Jesus came down. God came down in the form of man, Jesus. He put on a robe of flesh and he walked amongst men. He had no sin in him, in his DNA. Even scientifically it's proven he had no sin in his DNA. Even though Mary uh, came from the line of Adam, right? Well, during the birth, their blood is not exchanged. There's no blood, there's no DNA passing through the barrier of the placenta. He had his own. He was without sin in his flesh. And he died on the cross so that all those that believe upon him and call upon his name can be saved. And they are given a gift. Salvation is a free gift. It's not something that you have to earn according to the law or by your good works. It's given freely to those that believe and confess him. They confess with their mouth and they believe in their heart. And salvation is a free gift of eternal life. Eternal means that even though, yes, we are sinners and we've all fallen short and we've all missed the mark, we have a promise through the seal of the Holy Spirit that we will not lose our salvation. It's not a matter of daily repentance to earn or keep your salvation. You repent once by realizing you're a sinner and you turn around and accept Jesus for the remission of your sins. All your sins, past, present, and future. All of our sins are future sins according to Jesus. All of them. Okay, because he died 2,000 years ago. So we're in the future. <laughs> So a lot of work salvationists uh, like to put fear into you because they don't understand the meaning of the gospel. It's like a stumbling stone to them. The cornerstone has become a stumbling stone. And um, it's so very pertinent that we accept Jesus Christ out of faith. It's through our faith that we're saved in his finished work on the cross. And it's not, a, it's not by works. It's not by works. Why is it not by works? So nobody can boast before a righteous and just and true and holy God. And if we could do it on our own, we'd still be in the Old Testament. We wouldn't need Jesus, right? So um, while God was teaching me these things, while he was giving me dreams and visions, because I, not everybody that has a dream or a vision is saved. It, it just depends on what God is showing you in these dreams and visions. Is he using you as a teaching tool or is he trying to teach you? Which if you have open ears and an open heart and open, open eyes, you'll receive those things of the spirit, of the true gospel. 
But if you don't, then your heart becomes hardened and you close your eyes down, you close your ears and you push people away that God sends to you to, to, um, teach you these things, you know? And, you know, there are some people that, um, they have dreams and they say, Oh, I had, you know, this, it was a rapture dream or something. And the content of the dream, if you break it down, according to scripture is no, you're not, you, you're not, you know, God's trying to tell you that you haven't accepted him out of faith. You haven't believed in him in faith, um, that he put your sins into remission. You're still trying to work for your salvation. You're still in the law. And, um, there's a lot of that going around that's rampant on YouTube right now and in the churches and um, there's a lot of people that you don't think that will be raptured and there's a lot of people that you never would have guessed because they seem so righteous in their works and their their words and their actions and deeds and and but they led thousands of people astray about Jesus about salvation and they weren't preaching a true correct gospel um, and that's sad it saddens me and salvation is by faith alone by faith alone and it's trusting in the works that God did and not trusting in our own works to save us and it's so imperative that we understand this anyway guys I love you and God bless you